uh, Zanele, rather, I, I want to talk to you about uh, the whole question of this rainbow nation. I mean, inevitably, South Africa has ended up having black, white, yellow, and all form, all uh, uh, types of complexions. Do you accept every one of those as uh, fellow citizens with equal rights? Um, thank you so much. Uh, we are not objecting to the idea of rainbow nation in terms of embracing diversity in South Africa. Our serious objection and conviction is that historically and not anywhere all over the world have you have a population that is majority black that has been forced and hounded into reconciliation and forgiven without justice. The nation has to come to terms with the fact that black people were colonized and it did not stop there. There was uppercut which was legislated into law that saw into it that land. black people were dispossessed and therefore were pushed into the outskirts and the economy means of productions were left in the hands of the white minority that still continues to own everything and dominate in this country. We subscribe to the idea of justice before reconciliation, because if we agree that colonialism and apartheid were the greatest crimes against humanity, therefore part of ushering a new democratic dispensation has to deal with those injustices, and at the center of those injustices is the link dispossession, the dispossession of black people, that today, more than 24 years into democracy, a minority that is white, that is not even 10% or 80% of the land, and black people are landless. We are basically tenants in our motherland mm -hmm. and in the country of our ancestors. This is no. what we advocate for as black first land says that diversity cannot be embraced and rainbow nation is impossible mm -hmm. in a country where black people were traded both every five years and the minority that colonized black people got to keep the economy and the land.